गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर वाणी मैम वन मोर वीडियो फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सो हियर दिस वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी स्पेशल लेट्स सी वॉट इज देर सो यू ऑल नो गवर्नमेंट हैज ऑलरेडी दैट इज योर कर्नाटका गवर्नमेंट हैज रिलीज द डेट्स फॉर योर केस एट एग्जामिनेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई बी कंप्लीटली गिविंग एन एनालिसिस ऑफ वॉट एक्चुअली इज अ केस एट एग्जाम वॉट यू वॉट इज द स्ट्रैटेजी यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट आई एवरीथिंग वंस यू वॉच दिस यू विल हैव अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस लेट स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द वीडियो so basically whenever i have to speak about the dates as i said the important dates for your examination already is confirmed and they have released the dates that is kset examination dates are on july 30th and 31st yes 2020 so this is your important date please note it july 30th and 31st done so here when i have to speak about the kset examination what is advantage basically we try to see you know most of the students will be writing different different types of entrance examinations this is the time period isn't it so when i have to compare the kset exam and with other different exams which you write let's see the advantage first so first kset examination we see this is the most important that is it is of very less fee when you are trying to uh, write or attempt the kset exam once you get the kset examination the amount of fee which you pay is very very less very nominal if i have to tell you so when you compare with your triple it's bits nit ni nits as well as iits the fee for the case it is uh, student is very less next important here there are a lot of placements in bangalore basically we say you know as bangalore is a hub that is a silicon valley along with that the students who are getting in the case it you will get placements in bangalore where the city or the bangalore city is you know well equipped with everything so a person or a student who gets a seat in case it you can very well settle in bangalore right next advantage is paper will be very easy your ncert textbook whatever is there your maths physics chemistry and biology everything will come from the ncert if you study the concepts in detail everything other than that nothing they're going to ask you next thing i think it's clear now let's start now here basically when i have to speak about case it for whom is it useful Who, where where it is useful let us understand so case it examination eligibility if i have to tell you point number 1 all the case it or the case it examination only the students who are belonging to the karnataka state that is point number 1 second who have or you need to stay for seven long years here as a resident then you are eligible point number 3 the central government employees they are eligible defense personals they are eligible for this yes so for all these people this exam is you you have the eligibility criteria for that right now in case it next important question which arises ma'am after writing case it is it eligible for the medicine no that is our question so here remember case it is eligible or if you write the case it examination it's only eligible for engineering students as well as b pharma d pharma agriculture veterinary and home sciences only so please note it so don't just get be in the assumption that if i write case it i'll get go into the medical field no but here you have certain courses like as i mentioned b pharma d pharma everything you are eligible now let us see the pattern of the paper what what subjects you have when i have to speak about case it you are writing and you are a math student so in the engineering part you have three subjects maths physics chemistry so all the three subjects they carry how many questions 60 questions each all have three equal weighted 60 60 60 next important how many marks do they carry they carry 60 60 60 so simple 60 questions 60 marks plus along with that you will be given 10 minutes for detail or filling the omr sheet so the initial filling details will be there right you will be given 10 minutes so let us come in case it for the engineering students you have max physics chemistry 60 questions 60 marks each and 10 minutes for filling the omr sheet that's fine and next important thing when i come to the courses where we have written b pharma d pharma agriculture veterinary home sciences as we said science students that is a biology students you will be having a combination of biology physics chemistry instead of maths 
here also same strategy 60 60 60 60 questions 60 marks that's fine but here extra 10 minutes will be given for each that is for filling the OMR sheet now 60 questions are there 60 marks and the time given is 70 minutes so what is the thing you will have 10 minutes there for your writing your OMR sheet right so now let us go to the next important thing about the case set examination let's see so here during examination there are certain things which you have to do and don'ts let's see that so when i have to speak about the examination day today the examination that is your uh, both the days 30th and 31st what to carry to the examination hall remember you are supposed to carry only three things with you nothing else with you what is that one would be the admit card which is given to you one would be the id proof that is the identity proof and the xerox copy of that the photocopy of that right so stationery as you know pen that's fine but beyond this don't carry anything most important which you should not carry with you is other watches if you carry any watch simply there only they will stop and throw that in the dustbin don't carry that here why what is importance see basically in an entrance examination time is the most important factor you will not have watch with you point number one and you are you will not by solving you will not know the time when the exam is going to get over so very important thing to know for you for your information the this in the examination uh, this in they have what they did they are going to give you certain indications what are they let us see so you have entered the examination hall showing all these to the uh, listen uh, the person who is standing over there that's over you need to don't carry the uh, watch as I said here I have given you a 2019 timetable not the latest one but check here basically as we know we have the examinations conducted on two days so on day one here let us see you have biology and max exam okay so biology exam will be conducted between 10 30 a.m to 11 50 a.m max exam will be conducted from 2 30 p.m to 3 50 p.m those are the timings on day one when i go to day two again you have physics and chemistry examination again just see the timings physics would be in the morning session 10 30 a.m to 11 50 a.m chemistry will be in the afternoon session 2 30 pm to 3 50 pm that's fine students so all the subjects are there on day one and day two remember case it exam will happen on two days that's fine after that important thing please note now as we said the watches are not allowed this is what you need to remember then how will i know the time remember what they're going to do basically they're going to just indicate or give you indication by ringing the bells how many bells are there during case set examination just check one two three four five six seven seven bells will be there right during the examination that is your 70 uh, 70 minutes examination plus 10 minutes omr whatever is there during that time seven bells will be there here just see the first bell they're going to ring it at 10 15 second bell 10 30 now see here the 10 30 the examination starts we said so it's so a 10 15 for your entry and get into the room 10 15 would be the first bell second bell would be at 10 30 third at 10 40 fourth at 11 10 fifth at 11 30 sixth at 11 45 seventh is 11 50 now this is where your warning time starts so your warning bell the it means if the sixth bell rings that means you almost the exam only five minutes are left here what happens maximum students you will be busy filling the answers you will be checking the omr sheets rechecking it you will you'll forget about the bell remember here at the sixth bell you should be ready with your paper if you sit and do start checking by that time you will not fill even if you know if they start pulling your papers your rank will go thousands and thousands beyond remember so the sixth bell is a warning or the indication that your exam is going to be over by five minutes so by the sixth bell you should be ready with everything so please note i have mentioned all the bells here i have mentioned all the timings also here this is the morning session in the evening session let's see again again in the evening session you have one two three four five six seven bells so same thing your first the paper as i said 2 30 the examination is going to start 2 15 you will enter into the examination hall that is bell number one 2 15 second bell 2 30 third bell 2 40 fourth is 3 10 
fifth is 330 sixth is 345 now again this is a warning bell when you get uh, the bell at six uh, sixth bell and remember that uh, only five minutes are left you should be ready with that so 350 sharp morning at 11 50 sharp and uh, evening at 350 sharp they're going to take your paper and just go out of the rooms so remember time is the most important thing if you forget about because you are, you don't have watches if you forget of the about the bells your rank will go thousand runs away please be very careful so note it this is very important data for you all right now let us see the ranking system how it goes about in your case set so basically you will be writing your case set examination and we have two things your case set examination marks as well as your puc students if you're a puc student or if you're a cbse student now the total marks for this particular exam or how do they consider for a student a student is there the total marks consideration is for 180 marks so in this bifurcation 90 marks is, is coming from your case set examination remaining 90 marks is coming from your CBSC marks or the PUC marks which you get when you write your board examination right now basically when I have to speak about your case set so, so the Karnataka uh, government of the case set examination with a conduct you have your max subject physics and chemistry or biology physics and chemistry so they they write the exam for 60 60 60 so total it's coming to 180 so here you as I told you you'll be writing the exam for 60 questions your tie uh, this uh, marks are also 60 60, but time is 70 plus 10 that is 80 minutes time right so in your case set examination suppose out of 180 whatever marks you get 50% of that they'll be taking that means out of 180 50% would be 90 marks this is clear students so in the case set examination whatever marks you get 50% they'll consider remaining 50% from where they're calculating that is from your PU marks or the CBSE marks now here again maths physics and chemistry biology physics and chemistry so you'll be writing your means in your board examination you'll be writing the paper for 100 marks that's fine so 100 plus 100 plus 100 is your 300 marks that's over correct now what they're going to do because i said it is 50 plus 50 percent plus 50 percent 90 we have already got here to make this or equalize this also they calculate in this way 300 by 300 into 90 it again comes to 90 marks now I'll explain you taking certain marks as an example. Now suppose you are I'm a student, let me let us assume like that. I am a student, I have written case at examination. Uh, on 30th and 31st done in that case examination my subjects basically are max physics or chemistry or biology physics or chemistry now it is for 60 isn't it 60 questions 60 marks so out of 60 I have got 45 either in max or biology that's one second for physics out of 60 I have 50 marks that's fine in chemistry out of 60 I have got 55 marks so they're going to add 45 plus 50 plus 55 it comes to 150 and 60 60 60 180 so this 180 is here that's fine so 150 by 180 how much do i get 50 percent of that i get 75 marks in case set so i have secured 75 marks after writing the exam this is clear now let us come suppose in your board examination either for your pu students or cbsc see here it's for 100 marks we have written 100 isn't it so out of 100 either in max or biology you are getting 90 marks in physics out of 100 you are getting 95 marks in chemistry out of 100 you are getting 98 marks right so all together 90 plus 95 plus 98 is i got 283 score in my pu exam or by or cbsc exam so now 283 3 is the score which I got total is 300 now same thing I'm applying here just see here 283 divided by 300 into 90 see here same thing I have applied here so here after that when I calculate well, how much am I getting in the C PU marks as well as CBSC I'm getting 84.9 marks now my case it marks also are there 75 marks and my PU marks or the CBSE marks are also there which is all, which which I got is 84.9 now they're going to add these both 75 plus 84.9 how much do I get I get 159.9 marks out of 180 so finally 159.9 out of 180 is what are the marks which I have got I'll explain you the most important part that is a ranking system of your case it right so here basically I have listed out here I have taken 2019 data and given it to you for example right so here this is your rank part and this is a cutoff marks part 
Now, suppose if you are getting 10th rank, normally the exam, um, as we said, it is for 180 marks, isn't it? How did they take? As I have explained you, 90 plus 90. So, out of 180, if the child or the student is getting 170 marks, the rank could be 10th. Means from 180 to, if I have to tell you 180 to 170, almost 1 to 10 ranks. If for this one, this is the last year data. After that, suppose if you are getting 100th rank okay that means if you're getting 150 marks out of 180 your rank would be 100 if you are getting 130 marks out of 180 your rank would be 500 120 thousand like that the rank goes on it will become bigger and bigger right it starts increasing so it depends on the marks that means if i'm getting out of 180 50 marks only then my rank will go beyond 50,000. more and more lesser 30 40 like that your rank will go much bigger that's fine so basically when whichever details like which college to apply you have got the rank results are declared now confusion starts which college to apply where to join so remember i have given you one website which is written here please note that website they they'll give you a list of colleges where is the cutoff they will give you which college to opt also but one thing i'll tell from my side remember the college which has the lowest cutoff mark that only you need to choose right so here for as I said, the website, let me read the website you have http kea.kar.nic.in slash cet2019 slash r3 slash engineering hyphen cutoff hyphen gen gen.pdf okay so you can just visit the website you can just note it you will be getting all the list of colleges now i said which college to choose always remember your option should be the lowest cutoff rank remember that for example if you have three colleges in the list when you visited this website you have three colleges in the list remember here in this college of the cutoff rank is 215 here the, in this college the cutoff rank is 1000 in this college the cutoff rank is 1200 so always your option should be whichever has the least cutoff rank that college only you are going to choose that would be very fetching remember whichever has least cutoff that should be your first choice how to go for the counseling sessions so basically count during counseling sessions all the students will have confusion where to go and join where which round should I attend so remember you will be having one two three so here r1 and r2 round round 1 and round 2 will be there along with that there is something called extended r2 so this is what is the thing so in these rounds you will be according to your rank which you have secured you will be calling it calling for the counseling now here just check remember this important thing in the r1 and r2 please don't try to join why because there is one important thing so students whoever are getting see based on the rank you know they try to go and join isn't it all the students who take seats in case it you know, they if they are getting selected to your uh, triple it's nit's and iit's they will tend to leave then all the seats whatever are remaining will be called in the extended r2 so all the seats the most important different different colleges they'll be here, uh, kept here and in the extended r2 round you will be called so please have have patience wait till that extended r2 round so whoever students are joining in different they will leave and you will play the seats will be available for you and a huge choice also will be available for you to select so this is what is the thing so next video i'll be coming up with a case at examination sample paper so just watch the complete video will give a clear understanding of what is case at examination what to do after writing the examination how to select the colleges and and as I said, ranking system, most important, I have given you the idea how actually do, you, do they select your rank, how actually do they give you or calculate the rank. Thank you for watching the video students. Let us come and meet with the next video.